Well, today, guys, is a very exciting day for me because I get to share with you guys my brand new custom built Kiesel Dello six string, my dream guitar. Every spec that I've ever wanted in a guitar is finally right here in my hands, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Let's get right into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name's Ray, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube, and today is one of the best days of my YouTube career, honestly. So if you guys did not catch the unboxing video, which did very, very well, and thank you guys for tuning into that and checking it out and seeing my first initial reaction of this guitar, man, it was just like, it was a dream come true, and I'm, oh, I'm, I'm <laughs> I can't even talk because this guitar is so perfect for me. And uh, I'm just beyond, beyond stoked for it man this is, it's completely perfect and uh yeah that i don't even know what to say <laughs> but if i could get myself together yes guys today is about 16 years in the making every spec that i've ever wanted in a guitar right here in front of me and uh let's uh let's go over it so i guess we'll go over the specs now huh so specs wise with this guitar mahogany body flame maple top we have an ebony board 14 inch fretboard radius Jumbo frets, stainless steel frets. They're not medium jumbo or anything. They're like extra jumbo. The biggest jumbo stainless steel frets you can get from Kiesel. Roasted maple neck. Now I asked for plain roasted maple, but if you look at this neck here, I'll try to show the best I can. There's actually a, quite a bit of flame in the actual neck. And and I didn't pay for that and I didn't ask for it. But um, I mean, it certainly is not, you know, a negative to say the least. I mean, we all know how much I love this neck, right? This is like the prettiest neck I've ever seen in my entire freaking life. And, uh, you know, so roasted maple flame maple is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, my Kiesel Delos has a little bit. I mean, in comparison, let's see. Let's see if I can compare it side by side. Yeah, I mean, it's close. I mean, obviously, this one has a little bit more, but it looks really, really pretty, man. I'm really, really, really fortunate, really thankful that this, uh, this guitar is equipped with that. So moving right along with the specs now, we have locking Kiesel tuners. And I believe all Kiesel guitars have locking tuners. Um, I don't know if they make guitars without locking tuners. If they do, I'm not aware of that. Um, but I obviously wanted locking tuners with a nice little volute here. If you can see behind my fret wrap, we have, what else we got here? Uh, I don't even know. Oh yeah, we got a bolt-on neck, which I, you know, I love the sound of a bolt-on because, um, you know, it seems a lot of people like neck throughs and set necks and I think the minor minority of people like bolt-ons and, uh, I like, I like the sound of a bolt-on. I, I think it's very, very classic and uh, very Fender-esque, very Stratocaster-esque, and you know, the neck throughs for me, just like, they always felt very, very dark and very, very, very resonant, but you know, it just, for me, it's just like, it was almost like too, too dark and too thick and too chunky, and um, I've come to find out you have to do a lot more, for me, this is me personally, you have to do a lot more in post with neck through guitars, um, whereas a bolt-on kind of just sits better in the mix for me personally, there's not a lot of low end, so I'm not carving out as much of the tone as uh, a neck through for me. Again, me personally, these are just my own personal findings. Um, just a bolt-on just sits better in the mix and, and I have to do less tweaking with it. All right, next we have block inlays. Now block inlays was the, like one of the many, many things that were up on the priority list. But I think if I had to pick between like top two stainless steel frets and block inlays. Block inlays, I love block inlays, man. I've never been a fan of just having a sleek fretboard, although they do look cool. I like it for practicality, I like having a giant fretboard marker, and I, I, I've said it at nauseum, I don't care how how long you've played and, and just, you know, how long, how familiar with the fretboard, if you have the option to have a nice reference point for your eyes, why not have it? That's just my mentality. Um, so I just love it, and then it just looks really, really pretty too, man. Just nice mother of pearl block inlays, it looks gorgeous. Kiesel Beryllium Pickups, one volume, one tone, five-way. I went with the five-way just for variety because although I really don't use um, the five-way selector that much, if I'm gonna have a dream guitar and I wanna have as much variety in tones as possible, why not include it? Like I said in the unboxing, I've got a ton of three-way selector guitars, so five-way, can't go wrong with it in my eyes. And uh, another thing that I went with was a tone. Now, I don't really ever use the tone knob. I was thinking about removing it, but again, the tone knob, it, it kind of just, it takes away from the signal and it kind of adds a little bit of warmth to me personally, just from my own ears and my own, my own findings. Like when you have a full on, just one volume guitar, it is just undoubtedly just in your face. And sometimes it could be a bit too much to tame and a bit, a bit, uh, a bit of a, an uncontrolled beast at times because of how hot pickups can get. And, um, 
I was afraid that if I had passive pickups with just one volume that it would just become a bit too shrill and a bit too noisy and a bit tough to tame. So I threw the tone in there because it kind of takes away from the signal. And then again, it just has the option to just blend different warm tones in it. And just if I wanted to have a nice blues sound, you know, or jazz sound even, I'm, I'm there with this guitar. So I wanted to have variety. I wanted to have as much as possible. I didn't want to just have a one volume three way because I have very many of those in my collection. And uh, yeah, just, just, wanted, just wanted a little bit of different stuff to it. And lastly, we'll talk about the finish and the color of this guitar. I went with a clear, glossy, aqua burst guitar. Now this guitar, I went back and forth with my fiance and with my own head about what was I gonna make this guitar? What color was I gonna make it? And I was thinking about just going like a full on in your face seafoam green, but I was afraid that as I, as I got older that would become really, really tacky and almost childish. And I didn't wanna be like kind of like I didn't want to have like a kid's guitar. I know that doesn't really make much sense. It's a bit a bit of a, a bad way to put it, but you know what I mean? Like I wanted something a little bit more classier and I didn't want to go a full on teal because I thought it would look just like a JP15 um, with the teal finish. So I went, uh, I went with the Aqua Burst, man. It has a nice rich royal blue and then fades into a, this nice teal sea foamy translucent color or transparent, I guess you could say. And uh, it just, oh man, it looks so, so beautiful. And I just, I love the color. I was, I was at first a little disappointed when I first saw it, how blue in fact it was, but it's certainly grown on me. And in different lights, man, it looks more green and more blue. And you know, like right now it looks really, really blue, right? But then all of a sudden if I turn it, now look at, look at here, it looks very green. At least that's the way I describe it. So uh, yeah, it just, ah, it's so, so beautiful, so perfect. And uh, let's see how it sounds, huh? Enough of my rambling, right? So guys, this guitar is tuned to drop B, all right? For the guitar tones for this demo song, I am using the, and the bass tones for this song is in fact the Will Putney Suite from STL Tones. The Vintage Overdrive is the preset that I use for this track, and Superior Drummer 3 is the drums. When we come back, we'll talk about the positives and the negatives of my custom built guitar, everything I loved about it sonically and things I don't like about it, and if there's anything I would change in the future. All right guys, without further ado, let's get to the demo song.
All right, guys, so that's what this guitar sounds like in a mix. Now I'm going to give you a nice little playthrough, again, using the... And after the playthrough, we'll come back, we'll talk about this guitar. All right, guys, let's get into the playthrough. That's the playthrough, that's the demo. Now, let's talk about this guitar. Is there anything I would change? Anything I wish I did a little bit differently? Let's talk about it. Guys, I guess the only real negative, if I had to pick a negative, I guess maybe, maybe I would have liked to have had a flatter fretboard radius in the upper register, like around 16, 17 inch fretboard radius. Um, this guitar is 14 inches all the way around. Um, not the end of the world, but you, I'm used to like a 12 to 16 or like a 17. I like it a little bit flatter in the upper register, but um, again, I'm not like, I'm, I can I can solo and I can play fast and I can sweep a little bit here and there, but I'm not like a full on lead player. And, and that's why I went with a, a bit of a chunkier neck the majority of the way through and a bit rounder fretboard radius. I'm a rhythm player that can solo. The best way I can describe my playing is like a Mark Morton or somebody like that, like where they're a rhythm player, but they can solo if need be. Not saying I'm as good or like, you know, better than Mark Morton, you know, let's not get it twisted. I'm just trying to compare my styles and my thought process on building this guitar. You know, like I was like, man, I want like a super fast shredder and you know, really sleek and, and you know, whatever, but I'm not, I'm not a lead player. I'm a rhythm player that can solo when need be. And so I went with a full on rhythm style guitar so therefore I went with a 14 inch fretboard radius in hindsight Maybe I should have went with a 14 to 16 or 12 to 16 But at the end of the day man variety is the spice of life And uh, I'm not gonna like lose sleep over this guitar not having a flatter fretboard radius in the upper register And apart from that guys and maybe the only other one little change is I would have had black hard hardware instead of chrome But I just think chrome looks super super classy and I've got enough metal metal machines You know what I mean? Like, like I said before one volume three-way you know blacked out everything i've got enough of those man so i went with something a little bit classier so high states 2020 but I'm, i i do like the chrome a lot and uh yeah that's really the only negatives i could say about my own custom build and if i were to do it a little bit differently next time but you guys know the positives man you guys know how much i love this thing and you know like i was really really afraid that if i was gonna use this guitar and i was gonna unbox it and play it that like i would have to force myself to like it you know what i mean you guys know like when you buy something online or something, whether it's a guitar or a pair of shoes, a shirt, whatever, and when it comes to your doorstep and it's just not exactly what you envisioned, and then you have to like play mind trick games with yourself and uh, have to like kind of convince yourself to like it more. I was terrified, literally terrified that this was, was this was going to be the case with this guitar. Like I was going to have to like force myself to like like it more than I did. But guys, I've been carrying this thing around the house. It's been in like the living room with me. It's even been in bed with my fiance and I when we're watching TV and she's like, dude, get that thing out of here. What are you doing? I was like, I can't, I love it so much. 
So, I mean, <laughs> that's being real with you guys. Like, this thing is like, I feel like a seven year old carrying around my favorite little, like, Hot Wheels car or like my favorite action figure. Like, I just, it makes me feel like a kid, man, just having this thing around. And I built this thing. I didn't physically build it, but you know what I mean? I, I created it with my mind. And having it here is just so, so special to me. And, you know, I, I'm very fortunate enough that I have the opportunity to build my own guitar. And like I said, man, this, this guitar was 16 years in the making ever since I was 11 years old. I think we all dream of having our own custom built guitar. And uh, I think going forward, honestly, I'm going to stop slowing. I'm going to slow down on getting guitars in general because I've found what I want and I've played a lot of stuff. Um, and I think going forward, you know, I see no reason why I won't stick with Kiesel. You know, I'm not endorsed, I'm not paid or anything like that. But, you know, you have the ability to, to build whatever you want and the price is right. I mean, this thing costs less than most most production model guitars and almost all USA production guitars. So it's like, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, you have to wait 10 to 12 weeks, give or take, 15 even sometimes. But at the end of the day, man, like, you have what you want, you love what you get, and, uh, you know, there's there's no there's no reason to in my eyes. So, again, not paid by Kiesel. I'm not sponsored or endorsed. But, uh, yeah, just speaking, speaking from the heart. And this whole video has been nothing but me speaking from the heart. It's not as not as polished and professional. It's a it's an it's a conversation, a one-way conversation with you guys on my thought process and where I was, you know, mentally with creating an instrument and uh, you know, just just how how happy I am with with the the result of this guitar, guys. So what I'm trying to say is I love this thing and honestly, just thank you guys so much for uh, for watching and letting me have the opportunity to tell you guys about my favorite guitar that I've ever had in my custom built guitar. So that's it guys. That's all I got to say. So guys, I'm gonna leave you guys with some shots of this guitar. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, thank you so much again for clicking on this video. If you want to consider hitting that subscribe button, I'd really, really appreciate it. I'm out of here guys. Stay metal and I'll see y'all next time. Later.